Cornelius? Yes? Your brother coming back home today? I know, Ma. I read the telegram. Where's Sita? She's gone to her parents. What? Just for a few days. Is she take a baby too? Well, naturally, Ma. But this is all so sudden. She's been wanting to visit her parents for some time now. That is not it. She leave because Vishnu coming back. She shouldn't do that. Her place is in this house by your side. Ma, don't start nagging me about her now, okay? What's the matter? She afraid to face your brother? What? She still have feelings for him? I don't know. You hear me? I don't know. You don't know. Cornelia Sita is your wife. She is not my wife. Why, what you saying? You married she? Yes, I married her, but she's not my wife. She never was. I don't understand. Listen, Ma. I did Sita a favor by marrying her. I married her because... Where is your son, woman? Shri Vishnu Bhagwan, Guruji Baba. Vishnu! Ma! But son, why are you dressed like this? This is what I went to India for, Ma. To be dressed like this? These are the clothes of my calling in life. Ah, Cornelius, my brother. Hello, Vishnu. You look well. And you look, alas. Ten. Do I? The God in you is dormant, my brother. Find him, unearth him, and you will be radiant and at peace. You must teach him, Vishnu. I will. I will teach all of you how to meditate, how to use your own special mantra to be free from the illusion that is the world. Pa, eh? alcohol is not good for the soul. Is so? It dissipates your powers. It weakens your mind, will, and personality. Pa, what? You don't have to smoke. No, I don't have to smoke, but I am going to smoke. You are not. You should not depend on cigarettes. I don't depend on cigarettes. I enjoy them. You should curb your appetite. To hell with that. And curb your anger as well. <sighs> anger is a sign of the animal in you. Oh, how great is my son. What wise things he saying? Come, see ya. Yes, animal. And close your mouth. You're looking as though you want to eat me. Pa, you must curb your violent tendencies. Oh, Lord. I frightened. Frightened? For the first time in my life, I scared like hell. Scared of what? Of you. Come on, Pa. I have come back home to bring you peace and liberation. You have come back home to put me in a straight jacket with your do's and your don'ts and your holiness. You scare me no ah. Watch your language. Watch my language. Watch my drinking. Don't smoke. Don't get angry. Don't slap my wife. Good God, how can I live without slapping my wife? The next thing you would tell me is don't live. Don't you want to be a better person? I am the best person in the world. You are not. You are a decadent old man. A what? You are materialistic, greedy, selfish, full of bad habits, and leading your family astray. Vishnu. Don't talk to him like that. We all have to face the truth about ourselves. All right, all right, but don't you see how you have hit him? Pain and joy are two sides of the same coin. You have grown hard, my brother. Not hard, detached. I see. Do you, do you know what detachment is? What, not caring about the feelings of others? No, no, no. It only seems that way. But it is only when you are detached from the world and from people can you really know God? People? People? Is your father just people to you? There is no father but God, no mother but God, no brother but God. All of life is one and when you are detached, you don't see mother, brother, father, wife, a child, you see God. Doesn't God love? God is love. God neither likes nor dislikes. He's neither happy nor sad. God is constant. Are you God? No. But I would like to be. 
a part of him and consequently a sign of him. But it seems that I am making things uncomfortable here, so I won't stay. No, Vishnu, everything will be all right soon. I doubt it, Ma. But we need you here, son. Maybe you do, but neither Pa nor Cornelius will ever be able to see eye to eye with me. But do we need to? Should life be that way when everybody agrees with everybody else? There is only one God and one truth. Then why did God make us all so different? The difference you see is an illusion. And when you reach for God, you come out of ignorance to see the one and only truth. My brother, I am not as wise as you. I may never be able to say the things that you say now. But I can't help feeling that something is wrong here. What do you feel is wrong? That you can shatter a man like my father to a point where he has not spoken a word for so long. I did not shatter him. The truth did. You spoke it. God spoke it through me. You have all the answers. God has them, not me. So, you see yourself as an instrument of God, speaking his truth and correcting the sins of the world. I don't see myself as anything. I don't consider myself to be some kind of missionary. I just want to do and be as God directs. How do you know that he directs? Because I have sacrificed my will and direction to that of God. I have no will or desires of my own. And if God wills it that I leave this house today, then I do so. Without any bitterness or animosity, but feeling certain that I am being led to where I must go. Ma, don't cry. There is no hurt. Take it out for me. My son can't stay in his own house. It is God's will. It is not God's will. It's your father's sourness. You could say something now. But what do you want me to say? Tell your son he could stay. You hear me tell him to go? Your father said he could stay, Vishnu. Come, time for you to eat something. I cook your favorite curry chicken and dal curry. Ma, I am strictly vegetarian now. Oh, but come still. I cook vegetarian dishes too. <laughs> you laughing? Big old man like me had to hide and take a drink in my own house and you laughing. You don't have to hide, Pa. But I must. Next thing I know, I taken a drink. He he then come and pull the bottle away. I then cough him in the face. He fall down and God make me hand paralyzed. <laughs> so what you thinking? What scene he on? He seems to be honest, believing everything he says. I think he's talking a lot of nonsense. That may not be so far. There could be a lot of truth in what he's saying. Truth my fault? What? That a man must live with all these restrictions? No meat, no drinks, no material possessions? Bear as a beggar? Constantly afraid that you offend God if you do anything? Or want to do anything? I mean, what God gave you hand and foot and brain and mouth for it? Tell me. I'm not the saint, Pa. I don't have the answers. And your mother glad too bad about how he fixed me up just for you. You think so? Yeah. She feel that with he around, she will straighten me out. But do you need straightening out? Your mother feels so. You know how them go, them people who just go to church and pray and think feel everybody needs straightening out? But that is the case with she. And she's a woman to her. Women always trying to straighten out man. And when man straighten out, they just find their man dull and boring. You are quite a little philosopher yourself too, Pa. i telling you man, corn man, you mark my words. I mean, God is not a bad fella. He do any business, eh? He run in the world and thing, but he just have a little fun too. I mean, without a little fun, what is use, eh? Tell me. I think there's a lot of truth in what you're saying too. So, what really is your position in all this? I have no position, Pa, really. I live. I learn and I do what I can. And where's your wife? Where's Sita? Go call her, let her come and meet your brother. Sita is not here. She's gone to her parents for a few days. But, but she was here this morning. She left after you went to the airport. It's because Vishnu was coming back. That is why she has gone. Look, there is no problem. Okay? You will lie. Le leave it now, leave it. It will sort itself out. How will it? 
Ma told me your wife left today. She did. For good? Yes, for good. But Cornelius, you just said she left for a few days. The time has come for truth. Sita is not coming back here. <laughs> My grandchild go. What really is the problem, Cornelius? You. Me? I don't have anything to do with her anymore. Oh, you have a lot to do with her, my brother. Quite a lot. Meaning what? You are the father of her child. You left her pregnant. I married her to save her the shame of an illegitimate motherhood. Cornelius, what are you saying? The truth, as Vishnu spoke it just now. The, the truth. But, but, this can't be true. Me, a father? Afraid, my brother. I find it so hard to believe you. Ask your God. He'll tell you how true it is. I want to get out. I must get out. I must think. Running again? What's that? Why don't you stand up for once and face your responsibility like a man? My responsibility is to God. You hide, my brother. You hide in your holiness. Don't make me laugh. Find your God. Pray day and night. Meditate until you are total light. But shoulder your responsibility as well. That poor girl is nearly ruined. I tried to save her, but could do no more than I have done. I gave her my name and that was all between us. There may have been more had you not returned. But now that you are here, she is your responsibility. And I'm going to see that you shoulder it, you hear me? I'm going to make sure that you do it. Who are you to make sure that I do anything? Your brother who failed in for you when you were deficient. There is no authority in my life but God. None but he directs my life. Then it was he who directed you back home. Home stifles me. I want to grow. Home is your challenge. There is no growth without it. Listen, Pa. I want you to do me one last favor. What is it? Build me a temple. Build you a temple? I want a temple. A temple is freedom. A place to hide. A place to pray. A place to hide, I say. No, damn it, no! What the hell do you know about me? Who the hell are you to stand here and try to correct me and shape my life? Do you know how meaningless I find all of this and all of you? I find no damn satisfaction in family, food, money and children. I delight in it merely at a distance. I want God, God, God. I wish I could close my eyes and go into meditation for a thousand years. You could never understand me. And what you consider my weakness is my strength. What do you want me to do? Be like you? Be born? Grow up, get married, have children, and die. Is that the purpose of life? Not for me, my sacrificial self-righteous brother. Maybe it is for you, so have it all. Have your wife, your child, your family. Have my share of a father's property as well. All I ask is one small temple in some common corner of the earth. That I may be what I am. I know you are in charge of all our family's possessions. And it is you who must grant me this small favor. If you refuse, I leave this house and never look you in the eye again. Well, my brother, what do you have to say? Cornelius. Ask your God. Let him build you your temple.